Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Outlaws of the Old West. And I'm making this video today because uh, I was told that uh, Ziggy may keep the server for a little while longer. Which is great news means that uh, some people will be coming back to play. At least for a little while, which is fabulous. And I'm, I'm over here in the country club and I'm looking... Uh, around waiting for the train. I know the train is due to come back any time now. I wanted to show you around a little bit. Uh, since the last time I recorded I've added uh, the sheriff's office and the general store. Now I wasn't going to build a town because I really don't need to. There's a town uh, right up the hill uh, over at uh, Jeremiah's uh, place. But it's so much fun building, I can't help but want to build, and uh, it's, it's just nice, uh, a lot of fun just doing the building part. So let me show you these two builds real quick. Let me have my horse stay. Put him on, uh, let's see, stay. Let me bring my head up too while I'm at it. Okay, so this is the general store, of course. And uh, this is Benny Cartwright. He's the proprietor. Mm, hello, Benny. Good morning. Uh, it's actually afternoon now. Okay. Milk and butter on Saturdays. Today's special see the front box and bees, uh, wax and honey so far. The front box here has... Uh, free stuff in it so help yourself to that okay and then upstairs I built a place for Benny this is where he hangs out this is Benny's place mm -hmm. and out here he's got a little bit of a deck behind his sign little place for him to hang out. And I built the general store in the sheriff's office very similar. Not exact, uh, but uh, very similar to d design uh, to flow uh, well together. And then back here we have uh, a little door that he can come out and and do some cooking if he'd like. You can see the difference between the two buildings. Not exactly, but a little bit uh, close in design. Let's go ahead and close this up. Okay, and then we come out here. Train is due back. It's a lovely day, lovely day it is today. Okay, and here we are at the sheriff's office. You come in here upstairs is where the sheriff lives. You come around this way, and here's Mr. Sheriff here. We only have one cell, and it's not very often occupied, so one cell works. Yep, mm-hmm. Okay, this is a little storage room where um, the sheriff keeps track of all the, the bad guys, a little filing cabinet in there. Okay, and then we come upstairs, I'll show you the upstairs. This is where the sheriff hangs out. He can see down, keep an eye or talk to uh, the guys that are in there. Got his little bed over here and he has a balcony also where he can keep an eye on things. Mm -hmm. And I got a couple more pieces of furniture I'd like to put in here. I want to give him a closet and um, maybe a table or a small tiny kitchen over here in this corner I was thinking. 
So I'll probably do that. Yep. Now I didn't put doors, front doors on these because I want them to be open to anybody who comes by because we're on a server here uh, with a lot of uh, other folks. I thought it'd be nice to leave the doors open. got that idea from Goldslinger. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and, and do that. Leave the, um, leave the doors off. Okay. So you got that. You got the idea there of the two new builds. I think they turned out pretty nice. They're similar but not exact and I, uh, I really have uh, starting to fall in love with the brick. I didn't used to like it at all. I uh, really like the uh, log cabin look but the more I play this game and get into um, building with the different materials I find the, uh, that I really do like the brick. Now the only thing I, I don't like, I like this material on the hotel but the only thing I don't like about it is uh, as you will see, let me come up here just a little bit. You will see when I look back at it, it looks like it's melted, you know, like the siding is melted. Looks like what happens when there's a fire. You come up to it and it, it disappears. Looks much better, of course. But from a distance, it uh, doesn't have a very good look. So uh, I do like that material. See there it is there. You can see it again. It's uh, up in those upper corners there of the building. It looks like it's it's melting. It's not real clean. And also too, I might point out um, if we step inside for a second and I think you've been inside before. I've had a, a video on the hotel itself. Um, this is the Country Club Hotel. Um, the other thing I noticed is the corners. See the corners up there? There's no corners that are made of just the wood only. So um, so the, up, the upper corners are um, hard to uh, put into play. So that's the only other thing about this. This is not a bad look. I do like the, uh, the look of this, uh, this um, set. But uh, it does have its own issues uh, as far as so anyway, I don't know if you've seen the hotel. I'll walk through real quick. This is one of the rooms here. Okay. Every room is about the same. A bed, a chair, and a place to put your suitcase. Or a little table. This one doesn't have a bed just yet. This is the only one that doesn't have a bed yet. And then back here, of course, is the, the little kitchen. And then over here, this is another typical room here. I do have one large room upstairs. We'll go upstairs, take the upstairs. Uh, there's some rooms up here. This one's uh, B5 is probably the largest room. It has a little sitting area down here. And then also has uh, two beds up here. So this is the largest uh, probably of the uh, rooms. I could do more things, especially as they continue to add and give us more furniture. I can add more furniture and I will do that as long as the server is running. I'm going to play here and uh, I'm wondering if uh, the problem is um, I've been donating to the server and I want to continue to donate. Here comes the train. You can tell by the lag. Uh, I would love to continue donating to the server, but if nobody's going to play, so I'm hoping that if everybody comes back and plays, um, I'm happy to help, uh, you know, donate some funds to the server, so I'm hoping that's going to be the case, so we'll see, see what happens. So anyway, there's the train, train is back. Let's go ahead and jump down here. So anyway, that is uh, the little town of uh, Country Club. The Country Club, I should say. Let's go over here. I want to grab a bite to eat. Now, did I bring anything to eat? I do have something there. Okay. Okay, very good. 
Let's go ahead and right on over here to the uh, the bait and tackle. Leo's over here. He's in uh, in his uh, office here. Okay, we got Mr. Turkey there. Okay. Beautiful. I love this uh, the scenery in this game. It sure is nice. Okay, and there's Leo. He's over here uh, waiting for someone to purchase or get some. I uh, have some fishing poles over here. Um, now, if you want to become a member of the country club, feel free. Uh, to send me uh, a message uh, in the game, send me some email. Not email, uh, it's regular mail. <laughs> uh, regular mail in the game and that you'd like to become a member and I'll be happy to add you to the country club. That way you can come over and you can, all members of the country club can hang out in here and move in if you like. Use it for the weekend, make it your own. Even though it says for rent, it's not really because there's no money exchanged. Okay. Come out here and you go swimming. Or fishing. Just looking to see if I can see any outlaws over there. Sometimes they'll work their way down around the corner here so keep your eyes because they're up here on the hill I don't see them right off hand okay so there you go there is uh, Leo's bait and tackle right on up here and see if we can see those guys. Got the turkey running around here. Let's see if we can sneak up on them a little bit. See if we see anybody running around over here. Usually right about here you can start to see them. There's some wolves there. Or a wolf, I should say. I see one wolf there. Of course, that's my dog in the background. Got my own, got my own little wolf. Okay, yep, yep, and it looks like the Skull Gang it does. Now, I'm going to let you take a peek over there. You can see them there. See them there? Yep, yep. So let's go and take a look. Let's take a look up a little bit closer. Yeah, definitely the Skull Gang. Let's see if we can get this guy. Let's get him right in. Of course, I would be not loaded. Okay, here they come. Mm hmm. Got him. Got quite a bit of damage though on that. I'm only half there. But that's okay. We are going to live, I believe. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let's see what we got from that. Um, we got 36 gold bars, looks like. And $19.65. I don't believe I had any cash on me at the time. Not too bad. It looks like we got some bullets. And a few extra uh, guns out of that. Some patches uh, and some of those um, mouth uh, bandanas, I guess they call them. Okay. So what I've done also is I just recently um, added another monitor to my system and um, messed around with the settings a little bit. So I think I'm getting a little bit better of a uh, graphics here. Um, also increase the sound just a little bit. so that I'm a little bit louder because I noticed I wasn't very loud uh, in my previous videos. So I wanted to bring that up a little bit. So I just kind of wanted to make a short video here and welcome everyone back to uh, Outlaws of the Old West. Come and play once in a while. It uh, can be fun, especially now with all the new towns. There are quite a few new towns around and uh, you'll definitely want to go and explore those uh, before uh, they take down the server. If they decide, if Ziggy decides to take down the server, you'll want to see these builds before they're gone. Some of them are unbelievable, really. Uh, some great builds, some really artistic people here. And uh, I hope that you do that because uh, it's a great thing. Uh, and I'm going to get out and do some more exploring myself because I haven't been to everybody's place and I want to get around a little bit and see, you know. Because I think uh, it, it, the server now has a good uh, month, I believe, at least 30 days now. So uh, you have plenty of time, uh, but not a lot of time. So uh, come in the game, jump on, and uh, go check out everybody. Check out everybody, especially, uh, you know, there's several uh, towns around um, and you want to go and just see them before they're gone because they really are a great build. So, so anyway, I'm back here at my house and uh, it is coming into the evening. So I'm going to leave you all here and I'm glad you came on and uh, I will see you again next time. You have a great evening now. Bye-bye.